Christmas DIY friends, I am so happy you're here and came on over to spend some time together with me. For everyone who doesn't know me, my name is Yanni and I'm doing this Christmas all year round channel. So if you like the Christmas spirit, I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel. Of course, all the links you will find in our description box because we also have a Deco Easy home decor channel. So if you want to see more DIYs and more home decor, then come on over to our description box later and there you find all the links you need. For today I am going to make a thumbnail tower Christmas banner so we will see how this will turn out. I hope you enjoy! So let's start this DIY. You see my blocks are ready, I have my glue gun is ready so we are ready to make this DIY and like I said it's the first time I'm going to make a banner from thumbnail tower blocks. We will see how this will turn out. I tried already a couple of different shapes to make for my banner. I always also love this one, just to make a couple of them. You can make the word Noel, you can make Joy, you can make uh, Xmas, just, just an X and uh, an M and A and an S. But because Christmas will be very long, <laughs> if you write the word Christmas <laughs> totally, then you have to, real, have to have a real big mantle. <laughs> But I am really loving the shape of uh, a Christmas tree, so I'm going to do some lettering, of course, on top of here to make it uh, look like a real banner. But I think I'm going for the Christmas tree, so I make a couple of Christmas trees for my banner. And here we will do a little bead on top of here, so we can the twine uh, go uh, through it, so our Christmas trees can hang uh, under it. So I hope this will turn, <laughs> turn out right. So I'm going to make now my Christmas tree. So the first thing what we're going to do, because this one is only for the um, bottom, we are going to make four blocks we are going to glue together. This is very easy. First four blocks. And of course remove immediately your glue. Then you have a little bit less work later. So this is three. Now we have to do the fourth and then we're going to make one with three. This is so easy. I think you already know how to make this Christmas tree but for everyone who loves to see it I show it to you one Christmas tree of course. The rest I will do out of camera because you see already this is one. Now we have to do one block from two and you see we just only have to glue them together I can better glue the one with three and we are going to glue it together this way and I immediately again remove my glue I'm going to do some glue on the two piece and we're also gluing this together and removing the glue. And now we're going to do the one piece. And we're going to glue this one on here. And now we only need his bottom. But I'm already totally in my... <laughs> In my glue. Let me, let me know down below if you are just like me, always under the glue. At least when my camera is running, I am always under the glue. And again, remove the glue. Oh, I thought he was already sticking. This is already our Christmas tree and I'm going to make a couple of them because I think I will do the word Noel, but I'm not totally sure. But at least I will make four Christmas trees. And here you see our Christmas trees. It, did, <laughs> it turned out to be five. I, I said to you I will do four, but it turned out uh, I made five. But I'm going to use uh, four. Uh, you see here on my table, I have already my wooden letters over here. I always buy them very cheap. You can buy them uh, at Dollar Tree and of course here in the action. I have some my bag with my wooden pieces and I am going to use a couple of the beads later on and I have my uh, red velvet uh, ribbon. So I show you now the next step what we are going to do with our uh, Christmas tree. The next step what we are going to do, I'm 
course, I'm going to take four of them, but for all five of them, I'm going to do, take my red velvet uh, ribbon, and what I'm going to do, I turn my Christmas tree upside down, and I'm going to use some glue around here, and I'm going to glue my velvet ribbon on the sides of our Christmas tree, this way. And of course, remove your glue again. You see, this is what I'm going to, and I'm going to go all around my Christmas tree. So it gives a nice, um, yeah, I think, a high-end look, but at least a more uh, a kinder look if you leave it this way. So I'm going to do this all around. You see already, I did all five of them with the velvet ribbon of course but I, what i did forget to tell you is if you want to have your trees totally in the white color then you have to paint it first but i think that is already you probably would know so i am going to distress it a little bit with the white in between so not totally in the white color so but if you do like i said just paint it first and then do your velvet ribbon on the side and you also can do instead of the velvet ribbon you can do some twine if you like that more of a, a thicker rope just what you prefer what i'm going to do right now is just going to um, give it a little bit of a white distressing on top of here on bo uh, bo all five of them whoa <laughs> English is not my greatest thing, so I am going to distress it with the white chalk paint. You see that in a moment. So I have my chalk paint ready, and I'm going to do a little bit of the white chalk paint on my brush. You see here, just a little bit. What I'm going to do, I show to you here, is just dab it off. Just make sure that most of your chalk paint is gone. The only thing what I'm going to do is just going in the middle, little dots of white. Just not a lot, just a little piece because I only want to give it a little bit of the white touch, but not too much. I will do all five of them and then I show you how they are looking like with a little distressing of the white. Here you see how all five of them turned out. What we are going to do now, we are just going to do some lettering on top of here. And I'm going to try to do the word uh, Xmas. So like I said, X, M, A, S. And of course, this one will be over. So I will do something <laughs> different with this one. So forget this one. We are going to do the four Christmas trees and the fifth you will see later. This is how it will look uh, when you have, and of course, I see already in my camera that, that the X has to be here. And <laughs> I thought I had it right. Just a moment. And yes, you see already, this is the right right ready. You see, uh, these are the words. What I'm going to do, I'm going to glue them on top of here. And then we are going to take the four beads we just got out of my bag. And we are going to glue them also on the top of our tree we have our letters on top of here i'm going to take my bead and i'm just going to do a little dot of glue on the top of our tree you see here this is what i mean and i'm just going to lay my bead inside of the glue just try to get it a little bit even in the middle i show it to you in a moment because i know i'm out of camera right now so this is what I mean, and of course we will work that away, but just try to get it in the middle. The letters are on top of here, our beads are on top of here. The only thing what we need for this banner is just to give it a little bit more of a Christmassy feeling. So I took some uh, out of my stash, some greenery. I always keep my greenery. Uh, I do two little smaller uh, picks, just little smaller uh, pieces of a branch. And I'm going to glue this one this way, and I'm going to glue one this way, a little bit sideways. It looks a little bit strange right now, but I hope it will look okay. And I do two of the this one of the branches, but you can use any branch you like. And I'm doing a couple of berries inside of here, so I will glue this together. So I hope you can see what I'm doing. I'm just doing a little bit glue on top of here, just. 
place it a little bit this way and this one a little bit in the other direction and of course just right next to each other and just squeeze it a little bit we do the tops of a branch and we are going to lay it also inside of here and just keep it in place and keep it for a couple of seconds then remove your finger and now we're going to do the last of the greenery and i'm going to place it over here and keep it in place for a little moment until our glue is dried up i show it to you in a moment so now it gives also a little bit more dimensional feeling because it's coming out of the christmas tree a little bit so what i still need to do is just get some berries and i have an old branch of berries and just picking out little pieces so you just get a nice branch we do some glue on top of here and just place it in the middle of your branch and just also keep it again a couple of seconds on his place until he is dried up and i always do three uh, pieces or three five or but always um here in the netherlands we call it uneven but i think it's uneven i hope i say it right and again just get it and glue it in place at least not on my finger but on your work keep it also again and i will do the last of our berries and then i show it to you a little bit closer again and i'm going to place it next to the other two and I keep it a second and you see this is what I mean and now you already have your own little Christmassy tree and I am really loving especially it's very simple and easy so I will do the rest of them and then we're going to do some twine uh, over here here you see already our leftover Christmas tree we didn't need for our banner uh, what I'm going to do I'm going to take three letters I also use the wooden black letters and i'm going to glue this on top of here and make the word joy so i will glue this on top of here i will show it to you because this is very easy and fast to do of course in the middle of your tree on this one i have to get it right this one on this piece we are going to do the o and also again in the middle and the Y on also again in the middle of the four and now we have joy at least <laughs> at least I see joy <laughs> you see also joy but in a bit in the opposite direction in a moment you see it the right way i'm also going to do on this christmas tree also a little bit of our greenery and our red berries i just did so again i'm just taking the two longer ones just glue it on top of here just this way we are going to do one the other way a little bit next to each other and just squeeze it a little bit the bigger pieces we are going to do one next to here and the other one this way and again lay it a little bit next to each other and squeeze it a little bit together because when the glue is uh, not dried up you still can move it around and place it the way you like i always like it a little bit diangle, diangle if i hope i say it right 
and I'm going to do some red berries also inside of the tree so we get a little bit the same like the other trees but only this one we are going to give a stand and I hope I don't burn myself because the berries are a little bit <laughs> a little bit small so I place one here but and one over here and the last one a little bit of blue on top of here and turn it around a little bit so you can see a bit more what you're doing and I try to get it because or else he will be before my Y and I keep it in place for a second so you see this is already the underpiece now we are going to need a stand we just take two blocks just glue it together this way and of course I will distress it in a moment a little bit with also with some chalk paint so it gets the same structure like my Christmas tree and now we are going to glue our Christmas tree on top of here so we get our own I showed you a little bit closer my camera is even too small so this will be how we will look like so we have a nice stand with our banner so it looks everything comparing to each other you see our little pieces of our banner already I'm just going to take the, this twine and I'm going to use a little bit of the thinner one but I'm going to try at least do two pieces together maybe three I will see and just use the length you need if you need uh, uh, one meter or you need more for your banner just go ahead do whatever you like I have a little shelf where I have it hanging under so I don't need too much so I will finish this off and then I show you in a moment the end result And here you see the reveal of our two From Tumbling Tower blocks made DIYs. We made a Christmas banner with the Christmas trees uh, under it. And of course our little Christmas tree on the stand. And they are so easy to make. In a moment I show it to you a little bit closer. But for now I hope you enjoyed watching. And of course I hope you try to make them of course for yourself. But thank you so much for being here and spending some time together with me. And I hope to see you in our next Christmas inspiration DIY. So for now, see you next time. Bye.